what you should know about using fireworks. Plus, the city of Troy gets ready for the fourth. Stay tuned. Troy Trojan Vision Nightly News starts now. From the High Definition Digital Production Center on the Troy campus, with news from Troy University locations around the world, this is Troy Trojan Vision Nightly News. Hello and welcome to Troy Chosen Vision Nightly News for July 2nd, 2014. I'm Deja Green. And I'm Jamarlo Phillips. Thank you for joining us this evening. This Friday is Independence Day and for many the patriotic celebration isn't complete without some fireworks. But many area residents need to be careful about using fireworks themselves for a number of reasons. Independence Day is quickly approaching, and that brings reports of fires. In a typical year, more fires are reported on July 4th than on any other day. But as this holiday approaches, city officials give safety tips for those who will be handling fireworks. Use common sense with them. Uh, don't, don't shoot them at each other. Um, don't, hold, don't have them in your hands, period. Um, they are an explosive. They're not a toy. Um, Everybody enjoys them. I myself enjoy them, but they are an explosive. They are dangerous, and they can definitely hurt you. The best way to stay safe is to uh, come out and enjoy the control fireworks display that the city puts on every year. If you are looking to purchase fireworks, look no further. You can stop here just off of Elba Highway at Crazy Bill Fireworks. But do keep in mind that it is illegal to shoot fireworks in the city limits of Troy. Therefore, if caught, you will be subjected to a fine. They could face a monetary fine in municipal court. And one of the things, if you actually set someone's property on fire, you could be responsible for it, which we have had house fires in the city of Troy in the past caused from fireworks. One sales clerk at Crazy Bill says you should always read and follow the instructions when purchasing fireworks. I would definitely say read the instructions on the fireworks. Um, we give out safety um, rules. If it says don't hold it in your hand, definitely don't do that. And um, just be safe and obey the laws. City officials recommend that if you want to safely and legally see fireworks that residents attend the city's fireworks display Friday night. And that display has become a bit of a tradition for the city of Troy. Although the annual fireworks display was canceled due to weather last year, organizers are looking forward to continuing the tradition of quality shows this year. Clay Yeager has a story. On the 4th of July, many Americans and cities celebrate the birth of our country by lighting up the skies with fireworks. And in the city of Troy, it has been a long time tradition. And the city feels that they have some of the best fireworks in this part of the country. For over 30 years, the city of Troy has held a fireworks display, uh, a show of patriotism uh, on the 4th of July. And this July 4th, we will have our annual fireworks display. It's one of the largest in central and south Alabama. Smith explains that the celebration gives the Troy community and university a chance to come together and honor our country as well as our veterans. And there's great community pride, great patriotism. We're proud of all of our veterans in, in, that have served in wars and serving today in conflicts. And it is, again, a historic tradition that our mayor and city council have felt very strongly about supporting every year. Unfortunately, last year the community did not get the chance to celebrate and honor our veterans due to rain delays. We were rained out twice last year on July 4th and July 6th. On two days it was, it was rained out because of torrential rains in July last year. And we did roll over and shoot the fireworks on the first home game of Troy University football. But the July 4th fireworks should be shot on July the 4th. However, Smith is in high hopes that there will not be any rain delays. We're hoping for great weather and we feel by looking at the weather forecast it's just going to be a, a, a great day and a great evening and we're looking forward to shooting some fireworks. Clay Yeager, Troy, Trojan Vision News. Once again, the fireworks are scheduled to begin at 8.30 Friday night. Seating for the show will be, will be available in Veterans Memorial Stadium. And now taking a look at news from around the state. 
In Bessemer, authorities say they've apprehended a Hoover man they've been seeking after his pregnant wife was found shot to death. The suspect, 29-year-old Brian Darnell Epps, was captured by U.S. Marshals and Hoover Police Tuesday night at a home in Bessemer. Epps is charged with capital murder in the slaying of his wife, Rashawn Dejanette Bester Epps, who was killed on Saturday. In Marshall Shoals, officials at the North at the Northwest Alabama Regional Airport have chosen a new airline to provide passenger service. Seaport Airlines will serve passengers as a part of the Essential Air Service Program by the U.S. Department of Transportation, aimed at ensuring that smaller airports are served by certified air carriers. And in Montgomery, Representative Martha Roby is seeking extensive records from the Veterans Administration about the health care of veterans in central Alabama. Roby says she wants the records because of complaints she has received and because of government investigations that have revealed problems with long waits and medical records altered. 